Hey guys, we are here in my lodge and on Monday, I actually took a viewer out to do a guided hunt to help them find one of their first diamonds. We actually ended up finding two diamonds in just over an hour and I decided that this is actually something I'm going to do live on stream every Monday. Every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys think that is a good idea and that is something you are interested in, coming on a guided hunt for diamonds with me, comment down below and let me know. And to do that, to qualify, all you have to do is join my Discord. Link is below the video and there is a contest in my Discord to be considered to join me on a guided hunt. Now, here is the footage from that hunt and I do explain my entire process for finding diamonds, so it is full of tips. If you do enjoy the video, guys, hit that like button and let's head straight into it. I hope so. So, so generally, I'll run. I do a lot of running. Like I do do a lot of running. I'm trying to cover a lot of ground. I basically want to check uh, every lake that has mule deer and see if there is a diamond or a rare on the map somewhere. So I run up to the lake, I stop at 200 meters, and I start walking. And I'm always spotting absolutely everywhere around the water's edge. So I'll walk to about 140 meters and then I'll start to crouch and uh, just walk, continue walking in. All right, let's okay. go to another spot so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, just run right beside me. We're gonna run all the way up there. Okay. And I'll, I'll stop and start walking at probably about 190 meters. I don't know, I just do it, but it's kind of muscle memory at this point, but I'd say it's about 190. Tufan is, uh, is definitely a hot spot. I always check this lake. Um, I like to drop my tent 250 meters from the edge of the lake. So I have it marked so right it around here, but you're gonna have to find a flat spot. Okay, <laughs> so there's the three. So you see I'm at 190 meters, so I'm not running anymore. Now I'm walking and I'm spotting. Okay, so it's attentive now. Okay, so now it's attentive. That? So we're not before I would have shot it, we're not gonna shoot it because it's gonna spook everything on this lake. So we're just gonna ignore him because He's not what we're looking for. So we're just gonna keep okay. walking up and keep spotting around the lake. And you wanna spot way up high and around the edges because now feed zones they have brought closer to the lakes. So I'm just gonna be patient and walk to the edge. Let's see what's in there. So now you wanna spot all of them. I'm just gonna continue spotting. If there's nothing else here, we're just gonna keep trucking and go to another lake. So we're just covering a lot of ground in the shortest amount of time as possible. Yeah, I see. I mean, this is pretty fast, not gonna lie. Tripods, you can drop as close as 140 or 100. I don't, I don't drop them closer than 150, but when you drop a tripod 150 meters away from animals, they should not spook. They never spook for me. Tents, they do. Tents are different. Tripods, you can get closer. Tents? About yeah. 200 and... I drop my tent 250, but if I have animals there, that might spook them. But you want to have your tent 250 meters away. So what I would do if I had animals there is probably drop it around 300 meters and then move it 50 meters in after I've shot the animals. Y if you buy tents, you want to buy them all the same color variation. I you mean, don't want to buy different colors because you have to pack them separately. If you buy 10 of one color of tent, they weigh the same as one. You can carry them all oh. at the same time for the same amount of weight. So I can stack 16 at the same time. You can carry 16 around with you and it will weigh the same as one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's why okay. I always purchase the Arctic tripod because I, that's what I bought to start with. And now I will always buy the same one because they stack. That is a good tip. Thank you. You are welcome. I just figured this, once we get this going, it would be awesome to help someone find a diamond if they don't have a lot. It would also be awesome to show you guys the process that I go through because I often just do it and don't think about it. But to actually take you through it step by step, you know, can only help. Okay, so we're at 190, so now we're going to walk. I mean, if you have the skills and perks that I do, you may not actually. What level are you? I'm level 21. Okay, you may actually spook things because you don't have all your skills and perks yet. I just think, sorry, that's my fault. I just assume that you do. When you get to level 60, you'll be able to run up to 200 meters, but you'll have to figure out how far you need to slow down based on the skills and perks that you have right now. Soft feet is stalker skills. You want two points in soft feet. You want improvised blind. Further decreases your visibility when inside large bushes and shrubs. That that will okay. help you stay hidden. You're gonna want three in spotting knowledge. That that doesn't help you, you know, be quieter. But it's important. 
and sight spotting. I barely have anything here in handguns. I have one in sprint and load and one in survival instinct. Then with shotguns, I only have one in the both eyes open just to get to the second level. I have two in fast shouldering, one in body control. Weapon sights align faster when rotating. You want three in recoil management. That's super important. I don't have tracer shot or boomstick. Anyway, I have this all in my skills and perks guide, and I'm actually going to be doing a new one very, very soon. Uh, Archery, I have one point in full draw just to get me to the next level. So there you go. Decrease wobble is under move and shoot. That's for all weapons, not just bows. If you reset your skills and perks, do you get your points back? Yes, you do. You get to respend them. It's very expensive, but if you, you know, changing your skills and perks can be absolutely game changing. And I have done it and it, and it definitely has been worth it. You don't have to do both. You can do one or the other, but they accumulate. If you do them both at the same time, you get all your points put together and you can spend them all in one or the other or anything. Okay, so now we are here. So I'm gonna crouch a little bit. I haven't heard any warning calls. So now, oh, what's over there? Something's over there. Okay, we got some muleys here. There's a four, goes up to 272. I'm not gonna shoot yet, because I want to spot around the entire lake. So you never, as soon as you see them, you don't shoot them right away. Because like, you know, there could be a diamond over here on this side that I haven't been able to get up and spot yet. You wanna be patient enough to get up and spot everywhere. So I run right up to 200 meters because I know they're not going to hear you when you're further than 200 meters if you do have the right skills and perks. Even 190 or 180, they're still not going to. So that's all I do is I run around and I, I literally spot around the edges of all of the water sources. And once mm -hmm. we get to the end of Mule Deer drink time, I put it back, but I don't put it back to right at the beginning. I usually put it about 45 minutes into the drink time because they just won't show up right at the beginning. Right? Yeah, they, they travel Yeah, a really long time. You want to cut out as much travel time as you can. To, to try and pick something up that you're having a hard time, just uh, zing in and out with your binoculars, and that'll help you spot things that are hard to see in grass and stuff. Just go in and out with either no. your rifle or your binoculars. Well, there are some, like, a lot of footsteps. That's a drink zone, right? That's a drink zone, and so then I can pick up the track and see if it's male or female, and if it's max weight or not. Yeah. So always pick up your track. If you find a max weight for a small predator, or most predators, you do want to track the max weights for, for predators. But not every animal you want to track a max weight. Like red deer, you would never want to just track a max weight, because there are so many level 7s and 8s that the chances of it actually being a 9 are... It's not worth your time. But I would track a lion! Because anything that goes to nine legendary, except for red deer, you should track if you find a max weight track, I would say. Because it's almost guaranteed to be a diamond, right? It's not guaranteed, no, but it's either going to lead guaranteed. you to a lot. It's going to lead you, not, not even almost, but I have found a lot of diamonds that way. It's going to lead you <laughs> to a large seven or an eight mythical or a nine legendary. And I've found uh, almost all of my diamond red fox from tracks. Ah, let's, I mean, not waste our, let's not waste our time shooting it too. I'd rather go okay. and check other lakes. Go pick up your kill and we will keep trucking and keep checking. You know what an easy diamond is? You know what we should be looking for? We probably should be looking for a mountain lion. Really? That's an easy diamond? That's an easy diamond. If there's nothing around this lake, why don't we both shoot at each shoot at a six? Oh, nine legendary! <laughs> really? Yeah, I told you, mountain lions! Mountain lions are the are the <laughs> king. See? See, guys? How oh, long did it take us to find? He may troll. He's guaranteed. He's guaranteed. Oh, he's, he's guaranteed. 39. He is guaranteed. So you need to make this shot. Don't worry, I got him. <laughs> so how long did it take? That's all we did. We went around. We spotted around the lakes. We kept changing the time. So that's always that was... drink time. There you go. Guaranteed diamond standing right there. And it does help I, to, to hunt for things like I knew that mountain lions would be more common diamonds. Um, do you mind spotting him for me? Sure. I'm going to get closer. Okay. You got and him. Beautiful nice. shot. You got him. <laughs> Guess what? He's gray. Yeah. He is. I'm glad he is. <laughs> there he is, guys. Look at the beautiful shot. Double lung. 169.7. 7 meters, and he is a 39.74. That's right. Okay. You get him. Yep. Congrats. Random picking. Okay. What about if you, like, 
like before you stream, maybe. I an just hour found or two. a five medium bighorn sheep. Oh, the thing <laughs> of it is, we pulled we pulled the people from chat. Right across the lake from me. Oh my right god. Right there. All right, That's you kinda... you can you're gonna get two diamonds today. That's why we came to Silver Ridge Peaks. Definitely, if you don't have a lot of diamonds, Silver Ridge Peaks is a really good place to start. So how many diamonds did you have? Four? Now you're going from four to six. Oh, and Splat. And Splat. He dead. I had three diamonds. Now I have five. <laughs> now you have five. You almost doubled it. Okay. Here he is. He is a 172 monster yeah, diamond no, bighorn. Look at him. Look at him. Beautiful shot. 160.55 meters. Look at that shot. Okay, you pick him up. <laughs> Two diamonds. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. So congrats to Simo who came along on the guided hunt. He had three diamonds when he started and he left with five diamonds in his lodge. It was a lot of fun and hopefully we learned something and we will be doing that every Monday on stream. So again, join the Discord. Click right here to learn all of my very best tips on finding diamonds. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy the video and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.